Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will focus on doing exercises for type 0 or zero conditional sentences. Okay. So before we start doing the exercises, I would like to um, have a quick, quick reminder for the important things that we need to pay attention to when we are doing the exercises. Okay. So the first thing uh, I would like to remind you is Whenever you see the if clause, we use present tense, and the main clause, we use present tense as well. Okay, so, um, and when we use type zero, okay, when the sentence talks about the truth or a fact, okay, so um, these are the important things that you have to pay attention to. So here is the example that we talked about. If we hit butter, this is the condition. The result is it melts. It's always true. Okay. Um, so um, last reminder: whenever you see the clause that has got he, she, it, okay, the verb, you need to add s or yes. Add um, here. You need to add whenever you see the word he, she, it. Or sometimes you might see some words like John, Peter. That means John, Peter. That means he. Or Mary is a girl, so she. So you still it's still a third singular plural. You still need to add s or es. It depends on the verb. If the verb ends with o or s or sh, you need to add es at the end of the main verb. So this is something that you need to remember, okay, when we are doing the exercises. All right. Okay. Another reminder is. Um, Whenever, if you put the if clause in the beginning of the sentence, then you have to make sure that you add the comma. Okay, this is something that um, you need to remember. If you want to express it the other way around, that means if you want to put the main clause, okay, if you want to put the main clause in the beginning of the sentence, like it melts if we hit butter. Okay, um, we can change the order, okay, between the if clause and the main clause they are interchangeable that means you can change the order that's fine but if you put the main clause in the beginning of the sentence okay that's fine but don't put the comma there okay you only put the comma when the when you write the if clause in the beginning of the sentence okay um, so this is something that I would like to remind you all right the meaning is the same it's just that which clause do you want to put first if you want to put if clause first then you have to put comma after the if clause okay and then the main clause then full stop okay that's all for reminding you okay because we are going to do um, some exercises okay in the next slide are you ready okay here we go <clears throat> so now comes to the most important part of this video okay that is doing exercises all right let's try to see if you can complete this exercise okay so can I just remind you whenever you see he she it with the verb you need to add s or yes okay what about this one if Peter oversleep he missed the bus okay if Peter oversleep we just put the word oversleep do we need to add s or yes for Peter yes we need to add s why because Peter is he if he over if he Oversleeps because Peter is he, right? Okay, he what? He, he, she, it. Okay, we need to add miss. Do we add s or yes at the end of this verb? Yes, you are right. We need to add <coughs> es. He misses the bus. Okay, correct. Okay, let's try number two. If you leave metal out in the rain, it gets rusted. So if you leave, you put the leave here. Okay, think about it. Uh, is this pronoun he she it no then do we need to add s or yes um, you do we need to the leave do we need to add s or yes here no need because we only put s or yes when we see he she it or peter or mary or someone's name or a dog okay or something like that okay singular pronoun but this one, you is not a singular pronoun, so we can just, <coughs> okay, copy the word directly here, okay? So in the exam, I am sure you know how to get full mark for this part, okay? So do the if clause first, 
and then um, you try to see if this pronoun is he, she, it. If yes, put S or yes. Okay. All right. If you leave metal out in the rain, it. Ah, here comes the important part. It, right? He, she, it. So the get, we need to add what? Yes, you're right. We need to add S. Okay. At the end of the main verb. So it gets rusted. Well done. Okay. Number three. Let's try number three. This one is very tricky. Number three, water evaporate. Evaporate, that means um, when you hit water, the liquid will become, the water will become gas. Then that means it evaporates. Okay. Um, it evaporates. So um, become gas. If you boil, that means if you hit it. Okay. All right. So you, we can do the if clause first. Okay. If you what? If you boil yes no need to add s okay if you boil it water water that means it okay so when you see he she it we need to add what s or yes you decide yes add s so water evaporates because water is it like peter that means he water that means it so he she it we need to add s or yes in this case we only need to add s so it evaporates or water evaporates if you boil it okay okay this one can be a little bit tricky as well for number four if a hiker not bring enough water he feel very thirsty thirsty that means you need lots of water to drink okay if a hiker what not bring enough water a hiker is this singular pronoun yes it can be he or she Okay, so what do we use? Do we use do not bring or does not bring? What is your answer? Yes, correct. We use does not bring. Why? Because a hiker can be if he or if she. So he, she, it, we need to use um, um, third singular pronoun. The auxiliary verb is does. Okay, does not bring. Okay, if a hiker does not bring enough water, he, ah, he, she, it, can you see? He, he, she, it, we need to add what? S, correct, yes. He feels very thirsty. Okay, ah, this is something again for number five, this is something quite tricky. Your fit, your fit, is this singular or plural? Is this singular? It's plural, right? You have two feet. Okay, one foot, two feet. So, um, what do we put for the ache? Ache, that means painful. Ow, hurt, painful. Okay, so your feet. What is the answer? Ache, yes, ache. That means painful. If your hiking shoes, so hiking shoes, is it singular or plural? You have two feet, right? So shoes, you have two. So it's singular or plural? It's plural. So we use if your hiking shoes are too small. Okay. So is MR, you choose one for B. Present tense, right? Present tense, the word B, present tense is is M or R. So we choose R because shoes we have two, right? Like feet, we have two. So we use plural. Okay. Last one, number six. If you boil water, it becomes steam. Steam, that means hot gas. Okay. Uh, so what is your answer? If you, if you what? Yes, boil. No S or yes. Okay, because not he, she, it. But this one, he, she, it, it. Okay, become, we need to add S. Correct. So it becomes steam. Well done. I believe all of you could uh, answer all the questions correctly okay even if you can't maybe this one number four I guess number four is just a little bit tricky okay so when you're doing the exercises in the exam make sure you do the if clause first for present tense okay main clause is also present tense if it is a type zero okay so make sure whenever you see he she it the verb you need to add s or es it depends on the main verb and sometimes when it is negative you need to use do not or does not okay so pay attention to this one um, basically that's the end of this um, exercises okay um, okay
should be the end of the video. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.